you know, in spite of the population explosion that is happening in my area, I am still so grateful to be here. <laughs> Some of the native inhabitants. And this is why. This is just a mile, less than a mile from where I live, and I can walk here, I can run here, I can bike here, I can even haul my kayak down here uh, by hand and put the, the trolley for the kayak in the back of it and just get on the water and paddle. There's not a whole lot that really beats the serenity of uh, being out here. Um, Granted, we're about to be in boat season, and it's going to be kind of loud and obnoxious out here and lots of wakes, but for the time being, I'm just down here enjoying it because, you know, I had a hard time getting out of the house and uh, decided that, you know, it'd be a, a good idea for me to get out and move. And, you know, I, I post a lot of really active stuff, but in all honesty, it's it's hard for me to get out here. And it's, you know, the motivation isn't always there. So sometimes I really do have to just kind of kick myself in the butt and do what I have to do to get myself out. And, you know, I can tell you that it's 100% worth it. I, I definitely didn't feel like it. I was, you know, sitting there stressing out and trying to, trying to get my homework and my tests and stuff done. And it just wasn't working that well for me. So... Either I could sit there and stew about it, or I could get out and move my body. It's been a couple days, and, you know, I've had a few things in my diet that I probably shouldn't have. Uh, that doesn't help anything either. But the sense of well-being that comes from being able to just get out and move, you know, it doesn't matter if you walk half a mile, it doesn't matter if you run nine miles, it doesn't matter if you get out on your bike or your kayak or whatever it is that you do, you know, taking care of yourself is so, so essential. You know, we need to be able to do that. We need to get out and walk and if we can possibly get into nature. You know, I'm, I'm kitted out. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I know a lot of us, a lot of us aren't and just do what you can with what you've got. Don't hurt yourself. You know, don't, uh, don't go do something that you're not necessarily equipped for. But even if you can just get out for half an hour, just wander around the neighborhood, do something, get yourself moving. You know, whether you have an injury, a disability, no matter what it might be, find a way. Because I cannot stress how important it is for mental health for us to move. You know, it makes such a big impact. And when we aren't out and moving and changing our surroundings we tend to struggle a whole lot more, you know, and it takes away that sense of power and independence that so many of us need to have right now. Now, I'm in kind of a flux situation, and that being the case, it's that much more important for me to get out here and take charge of my health and, and work my muscles and, you know, feel... Yes, feel my power, but also recognize what I need to work on because unless we can recognize what we want to, you know, need to work on and, you know, kind of put in the effort on that, we're just going to stay where we're at or we're going to stagnate even further. And that's not good for mental or physical health. And we have seagulls. Yes. Yes, I hear you. So I guess that's kind of my rant. I haven't gone very far today, but I tell you what, I feel so much better. It was a struggle getting out of the house. Finally, I just decided, you know what, just do it because 
if I sit here and think about it, I'm going to overthink it and I'm not going to go anywhere. So a lot of times it just kind of comes down to that. You know, if you've got pain, maybe a short walk, maybe, you know, a, a short bike ride, whatever it might be, just, just just get a change of scenery, you know, if you can. If the weather's crappy, you know, do a few push-ups or set-ups or jumping jacks or whatever it might be. Just get your blood flowing, get your body moving, and you will feel better. I can't promise you you'll feel amazing or 100%, but it will help. It will help. Uh, even if it's just 1%, 1% better is better than it was. So uh, definitely, you know, at least consider it because, you know, we don't, we don't have a whole lot to lose by getting out and really enjoying nature and a whole lot to gain by it. And actually, look at this, this enormous flotilla of geese over here. There are... I don't even know how many there are. Oh my God. <laughs> but it's seeing things like this, you know, or, or seeing things like this, this, this scenery here. Check this out. Look at the sun. It's not out all the way, but you can tell where kind of along that hill, the clouds are blocking the sun. And I don't know. To me, this beats staring at the walls and the screen, and there's just really no substitute for being out in nature. And I feel, really, really feel for the people who are locked in urban environments who can't get out and see something like this because it's, it's havoc on our mental health. You know, we as humans are meant to be outside and, uh, I also feel for the people who uh, have conditions that don't let them be in the sun or, you know, grass allergies or what have you. Uh, that's, it's, it's not fair and it's not fun, but, you know, you find a way. That's, that's what I've been told by everybody who I have talked to who have had these kinds of challenges is you find a way. Um, if you feel sorry for yourself, you're not going to sit there, you know, you're going to sit there and you're not going to do anything about it. So I don't know. It's just kind of it's one of those things, you know, I just kind of wanted to get out here and, and rant about it because I know so many of us struggle with it and I do too, 100%, you know, me getting out here and posting these, these videos or what have you. No, it's not easy for me. It is definitely 100% not easy. It is a challenge. Uh, some days more than others. And if you can kind of keep yourself on a roll, that's so much better. It's so much easier if you if you go a couple days without, you know, getting out and really moving. Then the principle of inertia <laughs> takes effect um, in the way that you don't really want it to. So use it to your advantage if you can. I know I definitely am trying to. Um, this won't be a super long jaunt or run. It's not going to be an eight miler like, uh, you know, this, this past weekend, but it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a good experience of getting my body moving and getting out. And, you know, whenever you get out and you do this stuff, do not forget to stretch afterward or maybe in the way the brain processes things, remember to stretch afterward. Uh, Otherwise, you will definitely be hurting, like me, because I was a dummy and thought I could get away with it, and that doesn't really work that way. So, <laughs> so get out there and just kind of do what you can, you know? Get some get some air, get, if you can, you know, without, without the allergies totally killing you. Um, see if you can get out into some scenery and... Just enjoy it. Move your move your body, even if you're you know in a dance class or do some yoga out outside in the park. I don't care. <laughs> do what you can. 